thought I'd just do a check-in. I've just, I wanted to show you my brows, but I also, I've just done an ad with Cloud9 and it's these new straighteners and they have something called revive mode. So you press the power button twice and the whole thing vibrates. Let me show you actually. This isn't an ad, I just think my hair looks great because of these. And it was like, I think it took like under three minutes to do one side and usually I'm having to like section it, find all the wriggly bits, straighten those out, but this was really quick. Okay, so it should, buzz now. It reduces the direct heat to your hair so it's glossier, you get like a frictionless, smoother glide, um, which is better for like hair health and shininess and just a better experience and they're so quick. They also have 11 temperature settings. I won't say any more though because it still sounds like an ad, but it worked, didn't it? Like it's really, really, really great. And then the brows, let me show you. I'm, stop i'm in front of a it's really it's not even that hot today actually it's 21 degrees at 11 that's fine but it's in front of these windows which are amazing for the shooting light but they can be so hot okay brows i love them they're potentially my favorite holly has ever done she says that so many of you guys go to her so again Thanks for trusting my recommendation. At Holly Parks. Holly with an E, Parks with an E. We were super quick yesterday, under an hour. Really, really like them. And I've realized that sometimes I look at my face and I'm like, girl, you're looking a bit meh. And it's because I usually haven't tinted or shaped the brows, but I think they do so much for my face. I am so happy with them. So thank you, Holly, you're a star. So yeah, that was a little hair check-in, wasn't it? I need to go again, because I've got a lot to shoot today, actually working with Armani for the first time, which is really fun, really cool. And the product, the blushes, amazing. So yeah, I will check in in a bit shortly. Hello. <clears throat> Ooh, boomer alert. I got AirPods Pro a month ago, and I don't think I ever said that. They are unbelievable. I don't know why people don't talk about them a little bit more. I just assumed they were kind of expensive, average, same as the ones before, which I had and lost. And I was just like, they'll show up. And then after a year, they still haven't showed up. So I got some AirPods Pro. I got these in the Amazon Prime sale. <laughs> Damn, they are good. Like on the train, cause I couldn't use my old AirPods on the tube because of the noise. But these are so, guys, the brows working with Holly if if you want to. But after I saw Holly yesterday, I finished um, filming for the day, by the way. I put some linen on. Whew. Yeah, after I saw Holly, I went to Boots. Boots haul. One of my first ever YouTube videos, I think I was probably 20, is a Boots haul. Inspired by like all the old YouTube clan who used to do them. This isn't like an exciting one, but it is a realistic one. So first of all, I had to take them out straight away and use them because I needed them so bad. Tampax. TMI, they actually, they weren't uh, covering me enough. So I've got my massive period pants on right now, which is like essentially a brick built into your pants. Um, so I'm wearing those and all black. Anyway, these are so good. Have you seen these bars around? I bet you have. I saw them everywhere, but I was just really put off by turquoise. Like I don't find turquoise a very appetizing color, but it's the Fulfill Chocolate Salted Caramel. It's a vitamin and protein bar, but I don't have it for the health side of thing. I just think they are so delicious. So I had one of those on the tube. A product that got me 2 million views on YouTube, Footna Foot Peel Socks. Some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, know I've been complaining about my like um, dusty feet and they do just always get so dry around this time. I love doing this. So it's day one now there isn't much to show but they definitely feel different like and i did it for an hour and a half because mum's net said to do it for two hours so i thought and this is one hour so i thought i'll go in the middle see what happens cotton pads boring but essential uh, more foot content this is the best cream and i discovered it through the ad with footner was the ccs foot care cream it's the swedish formula it's got urea in it um but it's unscented and it's just really good at what it does so when my feet have shed quite literally shed i'll link that um viral foot video that i did up here actually by the way because it's one of the best ads i think i've ever done and then the inculist bioactive ceramide repairing and plumping moisturizer because you can't get this anywhere and it's 
The damn best high street moisturiser um, is for all skin types, so whether you're sensitive or you're doing retinol at the moment, it's great and it just feels very premium. It's £21 and it's worth every penny. And I keep going into my local boots and it's just not available. So I saw it in um, Boots Oxford Circus and there were two left and I got it. But this is the one. If you are not in love with your moisturiser and you want to keep it high street but you really want to get into skincare a bit more, you are into skincare and you haven't fallen in love with your moisturiser, this will make you fall in love with your moisturiser. It's phenomenal. That's my boot tool. How on earth do I ramble for four minutes? I don't get it. We had a great time, great weekend. Hope you enjoyed that weekend montage. I figured I don't always want to include my whole weekend in a vlog, so I was like, what if I did like a, almost like a weekend advert? We've also got construction as ever underneath, but the literal show must go on. Richmond was good, the run was hard. It's obviously hard because like the terrain is unpredictable and so sometimes it is at an elevation. I'm, I find running hard enough, running uphill is another beast, so the last like 500 meters we were kind of going cross country and I was like watch out for the deer and it was like uneven really grassy uphill just not nice but then had a great feeling afterwards and found that restaurant if you're looking for a wholesome Sunday morning do a run and then go to that place check it's open on a Sunday because I can't remember if we were there on a Saturday or a Sunday it must be open on a Sunday but anyway it's on a boat so you get to watch all like the rowers going by and boat life, people and stuff, but back to work now. I haven't had what I feel like is a very vlog worthy week. So it's actually been a few days since that weekend. Um, but today I, we're gonna do a chicken salad lunch recipe together. By the way, tangents are already happening. I've just filmed an advert for the Max Factor Skin Reset Miracle Pure. And it is a phenomenally performative foundation. I'm wearing little to no makeup. This, no concealer, no powder, I've got a lip gloss on, I did my brows and I've got mascara. And then the Max Factor blush, which is insanely pigmented. If you're seeing a lot of blush launches and the price point is um, just not what you would like to pay for a blush, then this stuff, guys, so pigmented, so glowy, and it's got that hyaluronic acid in that you could actually see the effects. Okay, this isn't an ad, but I just love the brands that I work with. I work with such great brands on such great products, and it feels great to be doing ads for products that I love. Anyway, I'm gonna make a lunch now that I made yesterday. I like to road test the recipes first before speaking about them. Um, I've got all the ingredients here and it's an Emily English recipe, obviously. I don't think I've actually ever made any recipes other than Emily's, and it's a really healthy but tasty chicken salad, or insert your own protein where you would like. I'm gonna start with the dressing. One heaped tablespoon of thick yogurt, so I'm just gonna use Greek. One heaped teaspoon of mustard. One teaspoon balsamic vinegar and one teaspoon of honey. I'm gonna put that to the side. I've got one quarter of a red onion, quarter of a cucumber, diced. I don't love cucumber, but I'm just trying to make a conscious effort to eat a little bit more, a um, bit less processed. I really like a finely chopped salad as well, just so you have a taste of everything in every mouthful. That's six chopped cherry tomatoes. I've done about a handful of chopped kalamata olives, I'm gonna say. 50 grams of crumbled feta. Gutted to say my local supermarket didn't have dill, but it's my favorite herb. So if you have it, use it. Then I got a British whole roast chicken. I got it cold, but it's already cooked for me and I just thought that was best and then I'm working my way through it. So I'm probably gonna take the whole breast for this one salad. And then yesterday evening, I just made like a little chicken wrap with one of the wings. But this just made so much sense. £6.50. I think that's okay. Got about that much chicken and I'm just gonna cut it but in like a shredded way. And this salad kept me so full yesterday. 
the portions that I'm using here actually yield quite quite a big one but I finished it all in one go <laughs> but I did feel full afterwards and Emily says that you can just use whatever protein you want in its replacement a handful of rocket and then we're ready to toss which is my favorite part I'm just trying to make home feel a little bit like a salad project I'm just going to use tongs for this because that's what they do at salad project Because of where you are, this really does feel like a cooking show. And I think we can all relate to the fact that at some point in our lives, we've all pretended we were on a cooking show. And somehow that has in some way happened with YouTube and my very mediocre cooking skills. But I think trust in the fact that if I'm ever cooking something, I appreciate this isn't cooking, it will be easy because I, uh, I'm, I'm an idiot, actually. Some salt and some pepper and then serve up. Let me know if you wanna see more of what I eat because they're always Emily English recipes <laughs> and I probably always butcher them a little bit. Keep the tongs out for mixing in the seasoning, obviously. And once you plate this up, like this looks so messy, but when you plate it up on a crisp, clean white plate, it looks like a beautiful mess and kind of arty. Don't worry, I'm not grabbing these directly out the sink. They've been resting on the chopping board. And this is what it looks like. See, it's like a beautiful mess. Fresh, creamy, really tasty. I'm just gonna pack away for my shoot this morning. Um, really like the hair. My angle for the content was kind of like that I wanna have I don't want to call it natural girl autumn, but you know what I mean? Like it's undone, it's loose, not just the hair, but like the whole look. And also if you're lazy like me, it just means like less effort. So funny, I have to tuck my hair behind my ears, even though it obviously looks better like that. Um, sitting down, editing. After I show you, I've got a new bag to show you actually. I've got a mint tea here. Shout out DeepMind Google not an ad um and i'm having it with a penguin i saw these in waitrose just in like a mega pack so i picked them up they were so tasty i used to have them in my lunch bags at school we had a tuna or a cheese sandwich um walker's ready salted crisps usually some juice and a uh, penguin what's a penguin's favorite dog i'm gonna work this out i actually have nothing I've tried a Bichon Freeze. Weirdly, I was thinking about a Bichon Freeze, but I was like, how? I couldn't link it up. There you go. Um, my new bag, I'll link the exact one below for me. The brand is L-M-E, L-L-E-M-E. -E. So that when you say it, it's like L-M, like she likes. Um, but I love, lo I love brown. I love brown on me. It's my new, it is quite literally my new black and everyone keeps telling me that it really suits me. These browns don't totally go. This one's a bit more rich, a bit more chocolatey, a bit more red in it. But I'm gonna to put together an outfit with it afterwards. It has this quite chunky gold handle, so I feel like it's elevated enough for the evening. It's a real day to night bag. And then you have these clasps here, which can clip on and clip off and two different handles. So obviously this one, wear it like this, etc. in the nook, crook of your arm, and then the long shoulder strap. And then because the base is so wide with the studs, there's actually quite a bit of room inside for you to put things. It's really, it's like a, it's a, it's a very practical. The only clasp it has is the magnetic one. So it's not like super duper safe, but um, it's very safe if you're like that. So that's my new bag. I'll put together an outfit and I'll also link this one below. This was very kindly gifted from the brand. They didn't ask me to speak about it or anything, just if I liked it to put it up on my LTK, which I'm gonna do now. Once I've built like a whole outfit together, I'll show you in a sec what I decide. Okay, put together an outfit for the new bag. Be honest, let me know what you think. I'm employing some new style techniques. So on the top, aviator sunglasses, I'll link all of this below. My new jacket from Hush, 
Suzanne Gray Cardigan, John Lewis vest. Abercrombie jeans, obviously, with some Haviana flip-flops and then the bag. And I just felt like, it looks better on my iPhone than it does on this. I liked the layering, I liked the neutrals, but this is still owning it. I like choosing the Anovia shoe because I feel like it dresses everything down and it is still August. Could I realistically wear this out right now and get on the tube? No way, the cardigan makes it too hot, but you could take the cardigan off. Um, I did like the brown with the gray though, but it's tonal, it's fun. You could also undo it, you didn't have to, but I thought the layering made it a bit more, oh, I thought the layering made it a bit more interesting and it still keeps the bag sort of at the center of the focus in my opinion good morning look at this morning sun it's like a little bit hazy which is nice it's not totally direct i've said it before we get sun from east london and so this is like where i do a lot of well a little bit of shooting like if i'm doing hair care makeup stuff then i'll shoot from this room if i'm doing fashion i'll use another room um so i often have to let the sun go to the side why are you telling us this <sighs> I had Pilates this morning. I have a slightly quieter work week, which literally never happens. I kind of joke that since I started my relationship with Insanity, I've essentially been busy for four years, which is so true. But I did the ad yesterday, and then today I was like, I can make use of this free time. So I'm gonna try and exercise every single day this week. What I'm gonna do today, I think, is show you through some of my most, what my shoppers, which by the way, nearly a hundred thousand shoppers on LTK. Thanks if you follow me. Um, my breakfast is rapidly cooling. I've just been to Pilates this morning. Sorry, I totally forgot to take you, but it's literally like, they have signs being like, this is a no phone zone. So I, <laughs> I always like quickly whip it out and just like take a picture of like the exercise ball or something and it's probably quite low value for you anyway. Um, but I got a Gales coffee and I got a Gales porridge and I've never tried this porridge before. Please say they remember to put the stuff in it. Drum roll. Yay. So I got a berry compote almond butter porridge. Look at that, that looks delicious. This is new, a semi-skimmed milk, um, flat white because I'm trying to cut down on my seed oils in oat milk. I have the plenish oat milk in the fridge which doesn't contain any seed oils so if you're still wanting a vegan alternative with no seed oils, plenish is the one and it's the barista plenish which actually does froth and it froths because of the coconut cream. I promise this won't become a health account. I don't have I don't have the will. Look how gorgeous that looks though. I actually love like nut butter. She will stop rambling and I'm gonna show you the most bought items from my LTK shoppers. Bit of makeup first. <laughs> Item number one, I'm gonna have to come in, is actually these Ray-Bans. They are unisex. They look good on both of us, I can attest to that. They're the kind of things that you put on and they just make outfits look instantly cool. Like obviously this is a very simple outfit, I'll go into it properly in a sec, but they are very lightweight, almost flimsy. But I've had them for about three or four years and I haven't sat on them, which is a record and they haven't broken. They're very comfy, very lightweight. And because of the gold rims and the gold on the side here, I think they just help elevate. And then I tie them in with gold jewelry. So if I'm wearing jeans or quite a casual outfit, they go well. But also I'm thinking about the fact if I wear like a blazer or a tailored trouser and things are just looking a bit too corporate, I throw these on a bit like how I do with the flip-flops recently and it just helps to like loosen the outfit up and make it a little bit more casual. By the way, everything will be linked below with sizes. Item number two is this H&M linen shirt. I've spoken about these before. I have worn these through the whole of summer. It's the end of August now in the UK and we're getting a heat wave. But what happens when autumn comes around is that I will still wear these, but I might have a knit over my shoulders or even on top of this. 
and then still wear it with tailored trousers or jeans or my leopard trousers which are like another favorite and it's just a really good neutral base but because it's linen and oversized it doesn't look too corporate and I just think the corporate look does not work on me like my lifestyle isn't and my job isn't corporate at all and then I just think like slouchier stuff on curves I really like and then these nobody's child trousers I just don't know what I would have done this summer without them and in fact linen trousers in general they have pockets I have them in three colors all paid for with my own money which I think says a lot about a creator's wardrobe because we get stuff gifted or sent to us as part of jobs all the time so for me to be like I want three of those in this tiny wardrobe speaks so much for how much I love these. Item number four, the leopard print trousers from Never Fully Dressed. This was actually part of a job and then when I went live with the job, totally sold out totally sold out so thanks for trusting my recommendations there are a few special things about this first of all it's the first leopard trouser i've ever owned and i realized how much of a neutral it behaved like like you compare you'd think what am i going to wear it with but it's white gray black and brown and some neutrals in between and you're totally covered they are so stretchy guys i'm so hot i have to open this hot and i'm out of breath especially when i get excited about stuff i get so out of breath and I forget to breathe. Okay, we'll go a bit slower. I wear them in a 16. I would really recommend sizing down. I'm a 16 in nothing on the bottom. They're the stretchiest pair of jeans I actually own. Mega comfy, look cool. You could wear it with, obviously I've got it, the flip flops on here because I'm lazy, but a boot heel in the autumn. I've got my Uniqlo bra on. This was like, top three most clicked on my like modeling background definitely means i just don't feel any kind of way about being online in underwear it's the funniest thing and even when i was like properly modeling all the time and obviously i don't anymore i was naked in front of people that i'd never met and really didn't mind i think it's really helped with desensitizing and i just see my body as a bit of a product a lot of the time like a natural mannequin so these are the uniqlo bras they're called something like 3d wireless hold i'll link the ones below but i have this one and a black one and honestly i wear them on rotation they cover everything if you're just looking for a bra that is comfortable supportive there's also no underwiring but it is a molded cup why am i so out of breath am i not breathing I'm just so passionate about these things. <laughs> I don't think it would be a top eight, top 10, can't remember, without Abercrombie. I've got Sloan trousers on. I wear a waist 33 for a UK 18. I get a lot of people messaging me about sizing, but guys, use the size guide. Don't go with what you usually go for because it will come up far too big. Waist 33 suits me for the Sloan trousers, but also for the denim as well. These are really an all year round item that I have pair with knitwear and trainers, a shirt for the office, flip-flops and a t-shirt with a look like this and maybe a shacket for just transitional would work so well. They are really comfy, they're long enough. Abercrombie do varying leg lengths. All of this is like stuff that solves a problem and I love looking at analytics because seeing what you guys buy and then also don't return, really important. It's interesting, it just surfaces, it's like top of the pops. So these are actually a mid-rise jean, which isn't what I would go for. I think that Abercrombie cut and fit so well that styles I would originally shy away from because they do them so well, I know I can rely on them to fit properly and look good and feel good and everything. But again, I'm wearing a waist 33. It's not digging in, but it's not super loose. And the Curve Love range means that you get two inches extra in the hip and the thigh, but your waist stays the same. So for any Anyone who would get like a big gap here or need to size down to fit the waist and then be really tight here curve love are great for you so that's the denim I feel like I have nothing more to say about these because the internet speaks so much about them number eight is crazy I worked with these guys a year ago maybe more it's my current body LED mask I do really feel like this evens my skin tone and calms my skin and it's the red light therapy one I won't use it now because I've got makeup on I'm kind of surprised by how many of you guys trusted me I did a YouTube video with them but it's really interesting loads of people are using them I genuinely do feel like my skin is better when I'm using it but if people lots of people ask me in real life like is it worth it kind of thing and I always say the same and I like the way I like my answer to this which is that 
I think there's a wasp nest outside, you know. My answer is don't use it if you're not doing things like drinking enough water, wearing SPF daily, double cleansing in the evening, like it's not a silver bullet as most skincare products are. And it needs to be the cherry on the icing of an already robust skincare routine that you trust. So investing in things like Skin and Me, like the daily doser that I use, and getting your skin to a point where you like love and trust your products and your regime, then you can look at investing in something like that because it's not cheap. That's all of them. Everything will be linked below the sizes. So this is kind of a, an Emily English recipe. I've cut some corners. So it's like a tuna toasty wrap with red onion, Greek yogurt, mustard, spinach, and some sharp cheddar, just toasted in a wrap. With sriracha, I add, just to make it like a spicy one. Not the most exciting, but it's good enough and it feels balanced. Everyone, I think I'm gonna <clears throat> wrap the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I have no perception of how long this was or wasn't, and I'm just about to do a Cezanne order and then go straight into my chicken soup after I find a recipe. So I was just like, no, I'll save that for the next vlog. Thank you always for watching. I really hope you enjoy them. I don't think vlogging comes naturally to me at all. I can talk to camera quite well when I'm excited about something, but I don't think I have a particularly fast paced lifestyle to show you and hopefully that's okay so thanks for watching thanks for subbing i've just checked and we've just hit 90,000 subs it's weird when you can hear it's like 100k would be insane and hopefully we'll get there one day but anyway see i'm rambling already thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next vlog coming my Suzanne order and my chicken soup